What's up, guys? Welcome to another Build a Break Garage episode. Today's episode uh, is going to be the first of me just taking you guys along for a little bit of a day for me. It's going to be a kind of a vlog style video, nothing really too particular in what I'm going to do, but I'm going to take you guys along with me and uh, we're going to find out uh, stuff. Uh, anyway, so I got a flat tire a couple months back and uh, right in my winter tire. As you can see, I have a very large chunk coming out of the wheel. So I'm gonna take this wheel up to my tire shop and see if they can patch it. My tire shop does do patches on areas like that, so hopefully that they won't deny me on that one. Because I really hate to have to buy a new tire, because right now I've been rocking three winter tires and one all season on the spike. So hopefully they can get that fixed. And then I'm gonna come back here and we're gonna go ahead and swap out the winter wheels for the summer wheels because it's definitely not going to snow anymore thank god enjoy following me around today oh also in other news yesterday joey came and picked up his car and i have a full empty garage there is so much space for activities in here it's the first time i've had the garage empty since i well, actually like i haven't had the garage empty in a, lo a long time because before i had the turbo car and before we even got done tearing down the turbo car we had Joey's car over here, so this is the first time that I've been able to have like just one car in my garage. So now I have a whole bunch of room to work on my dory, so now I gotta start thinking about some stuff that I wanna actually do to it. Like, I know I need to clean the interior really bad, like I need to like do a deep scrub of like the floorboards and shit. So I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that like in one of these videos, but uh, for right now let's go get that tire ch uh, changed. Hi right, guys, here I am at my uh, tire shop. So they are patching my tire as we speak, which is awesome. So hopefully uh, it doesn't leak uh, before I leave here. Um, I gotta try to find, I, I wanna see what, what I actually was stuck in the tire before I leave. Uh, after this, I'm gonna go ahead and probably cruise around a little bit and then go home and switch tires on Spike. I will let you know when I get out of here. Well, this is what was in my tire. Big ass significant chunk. They're currently patching it up, so hopefully uh, they actually get it to seal up and uh, I won't have to buy a new tire, so that should be good, but uh, yeah, just waiting on getting out of here now. So I got the tire patched up and uh, it turned out actually it had two things in it. Um, luckily, they were able to find it and patch it up so it fully isn't leaking now, which is great. I was going to go on a little bit of a cruise really quick, but I think what I'm going to do right now is switch out the wastegate spring in my wastegate. I'm going up from a 5.75 pound spring to a 7 pound spring. Currently I'm netting about 2.5 pounds at the manifold and I know I can handle up to 4 and so that is why I'm going to go up a, uh, up a spring on the wastegate because I like to modulate my boost by spring pressure instead of trying to use like a boost controller or something. I've had bad luck with those in the past. so. I'm gonna go ahead and get this swapped in and then we're gonna go for a little ride and see how four pounds of boost is. Okay, and just like that, got the spring switched out, so and I'm gonna go take it for a ride and actually see how much boost I have. All right, so just got back from my ride and definitely getting more boost. Just, I'm actually right at about four pounds now, which is exactly where I wanna be. But now I'm starting to run a little bit leaner than I like. So I actually am about to go up to the 36 pound injectors. The only thing is I've only got three of these. So now I have to go to run to the junkyard and go pick up a fourth. So uh, yeah, this day is turning out to be pretty interesting actually. So just got out of the junkyard, found what I needed within like five minutes, which was awesome. It was actually so quick I forgot to record anything. This is the junkyard that's like right down the street from my house. Luckily they had the injectors that I needed, so now to get home, clean these up a little bit, and then uh, swap them out into the car, so then we get to see how she actually runs on uh, four or five pounds of boost, so fingers crossed it's all good. Alright, back at the house, now time to switch out the injectors, and gotta just look at this, look, look how much room I have. It's so nice, so let's get these injectors swapped. Wow, I have uh, done that way too many times. That literally only took me 10 minutes. <laughs> now let's take it out for a drive and actually see if she's running good. All right guys, just got back from the cruise, or the little test drive really quick, and holy crap, so much better. Uh, I think this is definitely the prime combination. 
Uh, I'm getting about four and a half pounds of boost and it's running at like a 13.5 amp hour, which for this car, that's really good. So just listen to this idle. So made it back to the house, uh, and after looking at the throttle bodies and the bolt I picked up, uh, it, this may or may not work. But what I, what I'm thinking about doing is basically this is where the idle air control valve normally goes. I think I'm gonna I, epoxy that sets the screw in there, and then that actually blocks off the air hole. So I'm gonna go ahead and give that a shot, and hopefully I don't screw this up. So I got the epoxy on the bolt. I'm just waiting for it to cure up. So. Fingers crossed this works because that would be a really easy mod because it took me like five minutes. So hopefully this works. I don't have my hopes up. So uh, we'll see though. Well, the uh, idle air control valve mod actually worked flawlessly. Um, that was like a five minute job. It worked so good. Uh, the car actually like idles now and it's like just it's perfect. It drives great. So I never got around to doing spikes tires, but I think I'll do those tomorrow. I'm going to leave it off here today. Uh, thank you for watching. Be sure to give it a like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll be seeing you in the next one. Peace.